This is Hunan, China, a land with 70 million inhabitants and full of hidden beauties. In this series, we will walk into the lives of those who travel, study, work, and live in Hunan to give you a picture of what makes Hunan so attractive. Today, we are going to watch a rehearsal in Changsha, where Peter and his friends have been preparing for quite a while. So just switch that for that. Switch them around. Yeah. Three, two, one. Chapter one. Queen Regina instructs the storyteller. Queen Regina says, Welcome to Virtual Metropolis. These eight characteristics are the eight characteristics that NASA use in America for identifying which people are suitable to be astronauts. I am a moon mouse. Woo. Hi, Peter. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Uh, just a few questions. Yes, sure. So, can you tell me about yourself? Well, my name is Peter, and I come from Manchester in the UK. I've lived in uh, Changsha on and off for about 18 months, and I love the city, and I love China, the culture, and all about it. I'm also known as the storyteller, and I lecture on my favorite passions, which are wildlife, travel, and telling stories. So this is a book I first started when I arrived in Changsha. And it's for young children between the ages of four and about eight. And it's an exciting tale about two boys who go through space. So why do you write this book? I've always written uh, since I've been quite young, and I've written all sorts of things from poetry to novels and things like that. Um, and when I arrived here, I had a lot of contact with young children, and I just got this idea about young children, the internet, and the potential uh, for telling stories in English and Chinese to young Chinese children. So you mentioned you like Changsha very much. Yes. What's about Changsha you love so much? Well, although I've been to other cities in China um, some years ago, um, when I decided I wanted to make a lifestyle choice of moving here uh, to live out part of my life in China, this was the first city that I came to. And um, I found so many friends, both Chinese and foreigners, and I just love the place. It feels like home. I, 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 it's not a question of I, I miss my home back in, in England. It's that this feels like home. And uh, I think it's everything from the entertainment, the, uh, the transport, the way the city is developing into such an exciting place. And of course, I live by Misi Lake, which is a gorgeous part of Changsha. And I think the Cultural and Arts Centre is one of the finest architectural buildings I have seen. Welcome to Misi Lake. This is my favourite place in Changsha, and this is where I live. In the background, you can see the fabulous Cultural and Arts Centre. What a wonderful building that, that is. And next to that, you've got two beautiful hotels. There is a real community around this lake, and there are so many other things to see in this place. I love this place. Come and visit Changsha. Come and visit Misi Lake. Now we all know about Peter's enthusiasm about Misi Lake. Let's get back to his place, shall we? I teach that 